Welcome back. In this video, we will discuss another key concept from cultural studies that is Subaltern. The Italian Marxist Antonio Gramsci spoke of subaltern classes to designate the politically uncoordinated popular mass. The term has been taken up more recently by the subaltern studies collective of Indian researchers headed by Ranjit Guha in their writings. The group seek to assemble a counter history of popular forms of action and culture to contest both colonial and nationalist accounts. Gayatri Spivak brings a combined reconstructive Marxist and feminist perspective to reflections on the way the West and Western intellectuals perceive the subaltern as the other and to the position of women, both Western and Asian. In these relationships, can the subaltern speak? She speaks, in so far as this invokes a unified, true and unimediated voice, her answer is no. The colonized subaltern subject is, she says, irretrievably heterogeneous and in a world of Western and Indian textual and other representations can neither know or speak itself. Subaltern historiography therefore trails an essentialist category of the people. But in Spivak's argument, the subaltern male is affected. The woman is doubtly affected in colonialist and subaltern history even more deeply in shadow as mute as ever. The questions raised here of the role of Western theory and discourse of the intellectual's alignment with the subaltern and of the political agency of oppressed, silenced groups are continuing issues in post-colonial studies. I hope you must have got at least a brief introduction about the concept of subaltern. Thank you for watching.